This is a uh, 2000 Chevy Impala. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's idling kind of rough. So 99% of the time, most people want to buy a new mass airflow sensor, but you don't have to do that. I went to AutoZone, quick plug-in, and uh, I bought this CRC mass airflow sensor cleaner. I'm not really worried about the 4 to 10 horsepower. I just want to stop the uh, rough idling. The engine was changed in here. So it's a newer engine, about 90,000 miles, even though it reads 193,000 miles. Uh, when the engine was changed, everything was running smoothly, but um, we should have changed the airflow sensor. So I'm going to do that today, and I'm going to show you how to do it in less than 30 minutes. As you can tell, the engine is idling kind of rough. Um, to find out if your mass airflow sensor is indeed bad, you can actually unplug it and it should stop the idling. Now as you hear, it's running smoother. That lets you know that the airflow sensor is actually bad. Now when I go to plug it back in, it stops. Alright, I apologize for um, <clears throat> not being able to hold my phone and take the uh, mass airflow unit out but what I did was I unplugged it there so turn your car off unplug it then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this plug off right here get that out the way then this you're going to unscrew this screw right here with a flathead hey, how you doing and then you're going to unscrew this screw right here two clamps so you have right behind the air filter the mass air flow unit right here first clamp the screw your hose that goes in and then your second screw to your clamp now you may not have to unscrew the back clamp what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew this one and take the unit out now when they put this back together again they didn't install the new air filter kit that came with it, so I'm going to have to cut this off and get in here. All right. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that this was taped up, you know, to where I can just unravel it, so I'm just going to tape this and see what we got here. Okay, we got a mess. In most cases, you're not going to have a setup like this to where this clamp, I guess, he didn't have the right tools to put this back on, and he just did the best he could, so put that to the side. Take out the filter. And... Which is strange because it's right. I normally don't work on American cars. I mean, I do, but they're not my preference. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're not gonna actually have to unscrew the back clamp. 
we can take it off from here and then I'm going to show you how to clean out the mass airflow sensor. So, All right, I pulled it out, and as you can see, it's dirty. I'm trying to get a good view of it. All right. Okay, in there, you have your sensors. As I see, you have three pickups in there. So, what happens is when it gets dirty, the uh, sensor's telling the, the computer that uh, it's not getting enough air and uh, or I apologize it's telling the uh, computer that there's enough air in there so it's starting to idle rough so the more clogged that your mass airflow sensor is the less air that you're going to get to your engine then it's going to idle rough and then it's going to get rougher until the point to where your car shuts off while you're driving and then you're going to wonder why your car is turning over but not staying on so now I'm about to clean this out. Okay, as you can see. Probably wasn't a good day to do this, but okay, there we go. It's clean in there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let it sit for an hour or so. But you see those three contacts in between the two rails, those are your contacts for the uh, mass airflow sensor. They look like they're bridging the, the two lines and making an H. So you have the one on the top. The one right there. The one there. And the one up there. You want to be careful not to touch them or damage them. But uh, well, That's all it is. The cleaning your uh, mass airflow sensor. I uh, cleaned the mass airflow sensor out and I'm about to install it. So, I have to want to move these two throttle cables out the way. The 
just slides up in there like that. So my daughter's trying to throw water balloons at me while I'm working on the car and she can't hit me. And she doesn't know that she's going on YouTube in about 10 minutes. So that's her. So now I'm back to the Bass Airflow sensor. She's about to run out of balloons. Shortly she couldn't hit the broad side of a barn and her name is Kanifa Godby and and there she is. So, YouTube subscribers, hit me up. Here's a little bonus. Now we're back to the car. Okay, so, as you can see, <clears throat> that was a water balloon <laughs> that hit the car. Luckily, that Everything's back in place. Now I'm screwing it down. All right, these plugs have keyways, which are markings and tabs that you can't mess up when you uh, plug the connectors back in. This hole right here, to some of you who've never done this before, this will match up with the marking back here. See, as you can tell, it's smooth right here. There's nothing here, but on the back, there's that little plug, that little bump, tab. So this will not go this way. It won't. It has to go this way. There it is. <clears throat> now make sure when you reinstall the mass airflow sensor, the flow goes the correct way, which is the arrow, the flow of the air goes into the engine, of course, but some people do screw this up. When you actually take out this whole piece and then they reinstall it they install it this way you want it to go that way so here's the same thing with the plug you have the keyway the groove and then you have the notch right there there it is so now I cleaned out the master airflow sensor let's start it up You can tell it's a whole lot better than what it sounded before. So, uh, thanks. Hit me up with your comments and um, I'll hit you back.